Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today, let's learn about the physiology of female reproductive system. The female reproductive system is made up of the internal and external sex organs that function in reproduction of new offspring. In humans, the female reproductive system is immature at birth and develops to maturity at puberty to be able to produce gametes and to carry a fetus to full term. To learn more about the female reproductive system, let's continue. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction. We will be learning about the functional anatomy of female reproductive system, which includes uterus, cervix, vagina, and a lot more. Introduction so the female reproductive system comprises of primary sex organs and accessory sex organs. Primary sex organs. The primary sex organs are nothing but a pair of ovaries which produce eggs or ova and secrete female sex hormones which are the estrogen and progesterone. Accessory sex organs. Accessory sex organs in females are Number 1. A system of genital ducts which includes fallopian tube right here which connects the ovary to the uterus and also the uterus itself right here, the cervix right here and vagina. It also comprises of external genitalia also which includes labia majora right here labia minora right here and clitoris these are like folds the mammary glands are not the female genital organs but are the important glands of female reproductive system now let's learn about the functional anatomy of accessory sex organs first let's look uterus so the uterus right here is otherwise known as womb it lies in the pelvic cavity in between the rectum and urinary bladder. So this right here is the pelvic cavity and it lies in between the rectum right here and urinary bladder. Here you can appreciate the uterus. So uterus is a hollow muscular organ with a thick wall. It has a central cavity right here which opens into vagina through cervix. This is cervix and it opens here to vagina. Moving on. On either side at its upper part the fallopian tubes open. So this is one side and here the fallopian tube opens to ovaries. And uterus communicates with peritoneal cavity through fallopian tubes. It measures about 7.5 cm in length, 5 cm in breadth at its upper part and about 2.5 cm in thickness. There is a constriction almost at the middle of the uterus called isthmus. Divisions of uterus Uterus is divided into three portions. First is the fundus right here. So fundus can be located above the entrance points of fallopian tube. So these are the entrance points of fallopian tube and above to it we can appreciate the fundus of uterus which is the first division. Second division is body. It comes between the fundus and isthmus. This is the constriction we were talking about which is fine in almost in the middle part of the uterus. So in between these two area we can appreciate the body. The third division is cervix which can be located below the constriction or isthmus. This is the cervix. Now structure of uterus. Uterus is made up of three layers. First is serous or outer layer 
second layer is myometrium or middle muscular layer third one is endometrium or inner mucus layer serous or outer layer serous or outer layer is the covering of uterus derived from peritoneum anteriorly it covers the uterus completely but posteriorly it covers only up to the isthmus so this right here is the peritoneum and the serous or outer layer is derived from it next is the myometrium or middle muscular layer it can be easily appreciated right here myometrium is the thickest layer of uterus and it is made up of smooth muscle fibers smooth muscle fibers of myometrium are arranged in three layers first is external myometrium with transversely arranged muscle fibers middle myometrium with muscle fibers arranged longitudinally obliquely and also transversely the internal myometrium with circular muscle fibers muscular layer is interdisposed with blood vessels nerve fibers lymphatic vessels and also areolar tissue endometrium or inner mucus layer endometrium is smooth and soft with pale red color it is made up of ciliated columnar epithelial cells surface of endometrium has minute orifices through which tubular follicles of endometrium open endometrium also contains connective tissue in which the uterine glands are present uterine glands are lined by ciliated columnar epithelial cells now let's move on to cervix cervix is the lowest constricted part of uterus it is divided into two portions first one is upper supravaginal portion which communicates with body of uterus through internal os or orifice of cervix mucous membrane of this portion has glandular or follicles which secrete mucus number 2 or the next division is lower vaginal portion right here which protects or projects into the anterior wall of the vagina and it communicates with vagina through external os or orifice of cervix mucous membrane of this portion is formed by stratified epithelial cells vagina vagina is nothing but a short tubular organ it is lined by mucous membrane which is formed by stratified epithelial cells so in this view we can appreciate the labia majora the labia minora and also this one right here is the vagina this is the clitoris and this is nothing but urethral opening Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.